Well, here we go with that surprise opening of Flesh and Blood, the Crucible of War. These are first edition boxes, obviously. Let's see where <laughs> I'm going to get it last. There you go, first edition. Um, why am I calling it a surprise opening? Well, simply because we are not done yet with the Arcane Rising openings. And uh, what I thought we'd uh, delve into uh, something else, something a little different today. So here we go with the opening of Crucible of War. Now, these packs are a little uh, thinner than the uh, that we're used to in the other collections, the other sets. These have uh, typically uh, 10 cards instead of 16, and they are placed a little differently. As you may know or recall, all the commons are in the front, and the rares and the foil are in the back, the last card. So here we go. Romping Club, and then again, look at this. All nice and straight, shiny cards, beautiful quality once again. And let's see what we have here. Choke Slam, Flying Kick. And uh, as of the last uh, set, Arcane Rising, the art, I thought, got uh, one notch better than uh, they were in the Welcome to Wraith. Not that those weren't nice. So there you go. Dorinthia Iron Song is our common. Oh, another common. Yeah, now we have the... Uh, and Riled Up. All right, here we go with the, uh, with the rares. Next card, High Speed Impact. Now, by the way, you will not see any more. Okay, what are we getting here? We got commons. Hmm, how did this go? We basically have two rares and where'd the foil go? It's hard for me to see through these cameras, through the camera lens, actually. So, uh, high speed impact and towering, towering titan. All right, so I already got my board set up with uh, my commons here and rares in this column right over here. And let's go to second pack. Actually, the foil was uh, the third to last card. Um, for some reason, it was not the last one like I thought it was. So let's get through these quickly. And there's actually no um, token identified cards here. They're all commons. And even these uh, hero cards are simply common cards, not labeled as token. So let's have a look here. Crush the Weak, uh, Rousing Aether. Here we go. Oh, my God. There you go. There's the foil, the first one. And it is a majestic ninja action attack fine center you will notice though that there are more majestics in this set because they've done away with the super rares that we used to get you know if you remember about four or five of in the uh, previous boxes so let's have a look at our rares here towering titan which we got in the other um pack and a brute action barraging big horn so there you go a foil majestic so as i was saying what you will end up typically getting are pro probably around six majestics per box to replace the super rares and now there are different you know how the majestics in the uh, previous sets were all excellent cards well here you basically have different values of majestics some that are you know okay go okay good i should say and some that are better and uh depending on which decks you're playing up to us to uh determine which uh, cards we want to put in those decks uh predatory assault is our foil so let's have a look here rare movrian skies and oh there you go Cavern, Trader of Skin. So right away with one of those, a rare. And let's uh, move along quickly. 24 packs, even though they're only 10 cards. Uh, we do uh, tend to get uh, to uh, quite a few uh, minutes up these videos. So let's uh, go quickly so we can have a look at the better cards. Reinforce the line remorseless there we go we have another so this is our foil another majestic already like i said they're not so um rare in these well still i mean we do six so one every four packs i would say so uh, what are we looking for in this uh set basically there are in crucible of war uh two legendaries as opposed to the other sets so um even less let's see here Increased attention, hit and run. Okay, here's our foil to Clovison's workshop. And reinforce the line. Is our rare cindering foresight. Oh my goodness. That looks hot. I heard uh, actually somebody uh, today on the comment section was uh, saying that they got an Eye of Ophidia opening. Uh, it opened a case of uh, Arcane Rising and uh, got very lucky. So congratulations to, I think it was Gabriel. If I remember correctly. So again, Sutcliffe's research notes is our foil. And the Zephyr Needle, there you go, for a rare. 
And again, Cindering Foresight, so that makes a couple of you. So, I hope you guys are going to be able to um, procure yourselves some uh, Crucible of War. They have uh, arrived here in Canada at the same time as Arcane Rising, so I, I've had them uh, on the side uh, waiting for for, uh, for at least for a week now. Copper. And... Um, so that's why I couldn't wait anymore and go have a look at them. So that's why we're taking a break from the Arcane Rising and having a look at these. So here's our foil snag. Oh, there you go. That's another Majestic. We're up to our third. So there you go. A generic instant and Barraging Bighorn as the rare. So three that is. Let's see if we can get to, uh, well, we should get at least to six and uh, see if we can go higher and see if this is considered a, a, a great box. As we've said before now i have for you guys something very uh there you go this right room blood something very interesting coming probably in the next video an announcement a big big announcement but uh that's all i'm saying for now crane dance is a rare foil actually a little bit of an upgrade here there you go unified decree our fourth majestic oh slippery slippery cards here let's have a so United Defense, target weapon attack gains plus three, has reprise. All right, so we're having some different, uh, there you go, a combo here. So we're getting different mechanics slowly but surely. And this, by the way, um, most of you know it already, this is a supplemental set. We didn't have really any, like, we had in the first two sets, four heroes in each one. So we're basically, uh, Flesh and Blood is up to uh, eight heroes now, uh, her hero decks that you can create and play. And these are basically cards. There you go. <laughs> wow, the Metacarpus node, the equipment, majestic. Wow, this is foil too. Arcane barrier. Wow. All right. Nice. We're getting a pretty nice box so far. This is our fifth majestic. I know that's uh, that you don't have super rare anymore, but still, I mean, five majestics, half a box. Let's see if we can keep this up. <laughs> this would be pretty good. So let's keep on going. Torrent of Tempo. Dash is a beautiful card. One of the promo cards, actually, that you uh, will get uh, the Buy a Box promo, like I showed you in the last video. If you're lucky enough to get one, Combustion Courier is our foil. It is a common. Three Mechanologist cards. Here we can see right away here <laughs> from the, the contour. And there you go, we have our sixth Majestic Plasma Purifier. What do you, what would you know? My goodness, one after the other. And high speed impact is a rare. Six, I mean, am I counting right? I think that's what we're up to. And I've gotten a packet, a little more difficult to open. There we go. So let's put salt and look at the art. Fabulous. This is like a continuity of uh, Arcane Rising, which I thought had uh, excellent art. And here's our foil, Rushing River. We have, uh, okay, Morian Skies and High Speed Impact. So this is a, yeah, this is a triple, triple rare pack. So there you go. No Majestics, but when we don't get a Majestic, what do we get? We get three rares. That's a pretty good deal. All right, so Tech Lessons Workshop. Here we go. Katsu. Rousing Aether. Increased attention. Our foil is Soul, Bleed, Soul Bead Strike. And uh, Twinning Blade. There you go <laughs> with the Warrior. Yes, there. You Look at this again. Nice, nice, nice cards. So seven? Is that seven Majestics? Aether Conduit. That seems, that seems like highly improbable, but um, I don't know. Maybe this is what we get in the Crucible of War. But I, I do think uh, we're a little bit above average here. You know, one of every two packs is a Majestic. So that's, that's kind of uh, out of the ordinary, I would say, wouldn't you? I do like uh, you guys commenting on uh, all these videos and telling me also what you're getting because, uh, like I said, somebody got the Eye of Ophidia today opening a box of uh, Towering Titan. So here we have a common foil, Towering Titan and KO, Berserker Brunt, a Brute. So now we have a couple of, um, they do remain Brutes, but we do have a couple of those uh, hero names, I would say, in 
terms of, uh, of that class, if you, if you will call it that way. Let's have a look at what we have here. Blank kick. Rune chant. There you go. Feign death is our foil. Oh, my God. It's a majestic. Yeah, feign death. I thought, how, how did I not think there was a majestic? Eighth. Eighth majestic. My goodness. And again, a foil. I'm going to have to look into these possibility probabilities because uh, it looks like we're getting... Uh, there we go. Dauntless, Rare, and Crane Dance. Very good ninja card for the combo. So let's see if we'll get uh, some others here for the uh, combo possibility. And so that's eight. Okay. Mm. Let's see if we make it to ten. I mean, I really have to check out, check on this, see if the, this is normal. Predatory Assault, Soul Bead Strike is our foil, a common, and Cindering Foresight is a rare. Barraging Bead Down, a rare also. There you go. And what do we still have here? Let's, let's see. So basically we've made it to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god, we're not quite two-thirds of the way through the box. So this, this is the pack that's two-thirds of the way and we've got eight Majestics. Yes, you heard it. If you've missed the video, start it over again. Eight Majestics so far and counting. For blood, adding Helix. Riled Up is our foil. You can see that very well here. And Rushing River, a rare card. And Moverian Skies, another rare card. So, eight down, uh, 16 down, eight to go. Yeah, so you guys, um, if you haven't caught my last video, there was a restock of uh, Crucible of War. But by the way, it was not uh, from the company. It's, uh, you know, distributors kind of helping each other out. And uh, we were lucky enough to get some uh, a restock here in Canada. Five cases per, uh, per store. And uh, Tripwire, Trap, and Rush River. So this is a triple rare. Yep, triple rare pack. So, if you haven't gotten your hands on any of these, we are Friday, December, the uh, 4th, uh, 4th of December, yeah, as of this recording. And um, I think these are the days that they're getting the new the uh, restock. So, check that out as soon as you can, if you're still interested. If you haven't picked up some Crucible of War and you're interested in getting some. So, our foil is a common foil, tripwire, trap. Rare and High Speed Impact. We've seen a couple of these cards already. So, um, yeah. And uh, some news uh, that I've gotten uh, directly from uh, higher up in the company. Uh, our Monarch is going to be our next set. Uh, end, of, uh, end of March, at least. Maybe even the beginning of April. We'll have plenty of time to have a look at these cards and know how to play them uh, and be ready for after COVID period. So Emerging Dominance, Common Foil, and Rattle Bones. There you go. A Majestic number nine in this box. Holy moly. And Towering Titan for a rare. I'm going to have to um, recount these at the end. Did I get lost somewhere? But I, I don't think so. Anyway. Let's keep at it. And uh, we'll do the... Uh, We'll do the summary, the counting at the end. So push forward. Let's do that. Copper. Circus research notes. Wild up. And combustion courier is our foil. Common. And mass massacre. <laughs> this box is a real massacre for Majestics. This is Majestic number 10, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. If you discarded a card with six or more, attack this turn. Massacre gains plus to attack and intimidate. Wow. All right. And reinforce the line. Rare. Ten. With four packs left to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall see. I do uh, have a lot of these uh, boxes that I want to open for you also. So uh, I'll be opening at least another seven, eight. I, I had opened four. I don't know if you remember my first videos when this channel was created. I had those in from the U.S. And uh, this is basically my fifth box opening. But it will be called number one on the... Uh, so this is a foil, uh, common. And here we go. Red liner, uh, rare. And uh, dauntless, rare also. So yeah, I at least open uh, 12 boxes from my personal collection and play cards that I need. 
so that we uh, complete the play set of three cards of each and uh, and then some. And here we go. <laughs> Ira Crimson Hayes here. This is the original hero of the... You remember those? When they came out with their Ira deck and the, the way to get people into the game, you know, have people discover flesh and blood back in October of 2019. So, uh, foil uh, rare, so we're going to have at least a triple rare here, Movrian Skies and Cindering Foresight. So there you go, triple rare pack. And just with two left to go, don't forget tomorrow, for the next video I should say, <laughs> big, big announcement, biggest contest you've seen yet. Deep Dart and the Combustible Courier is our foil. A common, a reinforced the line, and Plasma Barrel Shot. There you go. The weapon for the Mechanologist. It is a rare. And our last pack. Will we stay at 10? Or shall we go? So, so basically getting 10 is basically the same as before getting, uh, I don't know, 4... Uh, six, seven super rares and three majestics. It's a total of 10 of those uh, superior quality cards, or superior cards, I should just call them. So, um, Sleep Dart, the Rune Chant, Foil is. Oh, the Rune Chant is the foil. All right. Okay. And Barraging Bighorn is a rare, and a Rushing River is also a rare to finish off the pack. Well, I guess my, my count was right. Look at this. Seven regular Majestics and three Foil Majestics. I'd like you to tell me which one of those you prefer. Which one do you think is, uh, which two cards, let's say, are the strongest of those? Massacre, Rattle Bones, Twinning Blade, Plasma Purifier, Unified Decree, Snag, Remorseless or Feign Death, Metacarpus Node, and Fine Center. So let me know. Thanks again for watching this other Flesh and Blood video. Thumbs up if you've liked it. Don't forget to subscribe or get people to do so. Again, we'll see you soon. Don't miss the next video. A big, big, big announcement. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.